looks like we are live on the Hangout. Um, this is Conversations with Brother Asar with the Madhu Mandela Institute for the Advancement of Science and Culture. Uh, today we have a special guest, Brother Carl Albert, a.k.a. Israel Doctrine. And the focus of our discussion is uh, to clarify some commentary from uh, a few nights ago regarding the upcoming Sonnetter debate, uh, House of Consciousness debate that is supposed to happen on February the 8th, if I'm correct, uh, in New York City, uh, which is a Sunday, uh, between the different camps of uh, Hebrew Israelites and um, a few brothers uh, who are supposed to represent the comedic community. And um, so uh, to give a little feedback, our brother Kalam L out of the uh, UK who has his uh, YouTube channel and show Talk with the Titans this uh, past Wednesday, which was what, 23rd, 22nd, or 21st of this month. I uh, had a special guest, Brother Jonathan Owens, um, also known as Casual, the Hieroglyphics Crew, uh, who is participating in this debate on this upcoming February 8th. And so um, I had some commentary when asked. I was a part of this panel discussion. And uh, our brother Carl, uh, I guess, found issue with a few of my statements. And so um, he had a separate discussion on his YouTube channel concerning my commentary. And so uh, I invited him here today so we can, you know, further discuss, you know, um, what I meant uh, because there was some discussion afterwards which he wasn't privy of. And so, you know, this allows for us to, you know, have on the, for record and posterity, uh, some, some details about actually what is uh, going on concerning uh, the particular commentary as it regards, you know, my opinion on the upcoming debate uh, hosted by the House of Consciousness out of Harlem, New York. So um, I want to welcome my brother, uh, Carl Albert. Hold on one second. I think I have mine stuck on my screen. Uh, you there, good brother? Peace. How you doing, everybody? Uh, as the brother said, I watched the video the other night when I came in from work. I heard some comments, and me being one that believes truly in those that represent our community, speaking truth, standing up on truth, and making sure information that goes out, whether it's scholarly or any other information that uh, um, goes out to the community, that is uh, correct. So I believe some of the statements he made was incorrect. He had his uh, chronology out of uh, order and he used the terminology like beef and um, which is a street term and those that know about it know about it but uh, it was a strong statement to use that type of terminology so I addressed that too and he invited me on the night like he said to further go down this road and see exactly where, where you know, the end is at. Alright. Um, before we continue, I would like to, for anybody who is listening who just happens to be a friend of mine or Brother Carl's on Facebook, um, if you are hearing any kind of feedback, technical feedback, or uh, any kind of you know, uh, technical difficulties would not, uh, with the sound quality, uh, or you're hearing feedback from, or echo, or something like that in the in the background. Please hit us up in our inboxes or something like this and let us know, so you know we can um, adjust some things here if need be. I know in the last conversation this um, had come up, so I'm hoping I, I have fixed that at this moment. But if not. Uh, please let us know early. Uh, the last conversation, you know, I didn't know until the latter part of, you know, our discourse 
as it regards to the technical issues with um, the Google Hangout, you know, uh, live. So um, to, I guess, get us started, just tell us, you know, what, um, just give us a little background of, you know, what was going on, what was the nature of the dis discussion, and then the exact issues that you had with um, my statements. Well, I took issues with the fact that you stated that the Hebrew Israelites basically had beef with Polite and Shaka, and that's the reason for this debate. Um, I came to that conclusion by the statements you made, and you uh, made the same statements about three or four times, saying that uh, the Israelites had beef with Shaka and Polite. So, in my dialogue on my channel, Israel Doctrine YouTube channel, um, I was basically saying that it wasn't any beef that started this debate. What started this debate, this particular one here, is the fact that they had a young masters meeting. Sarnetta and uh, the House of Consciousness had Polite, uh, Minister Inky, Barshur, um, Reggie, Ashar, I mean, uh, Husha, uh, Tazariyat, Nazi, and I, I can't remember if anyone else was there. And so they was talking. So what happened is they attacked the 12 tribe chart to uh, see if they could get a debate. They started friction, and it was started from the Kemet's side. But the friction was already there based up on the 12 tribe chart being used on the New York streets as well as the New York Israelite camps for us, AOC, um, ISUPK, and other that teach on the street corners of New York, uh, spearing hate doctrine towards Africans. So with that being said and done, you could say they initiated people to come and confront them, seeing that they was confronting the Africans on the street corner, and I believe Polite took it up on himself to do that with Tazaria, which led to this point. So to this point, there was no beef. But as soon as this debate was uh, initiated, after the young masters uh, sit down and um, Sarnetta had the uh, video at ISUPK cookout with her shah, well, not her shah, he was there. Kashar, Reggie, and Daniela had a conversation. And uh, Daniela said, uh, well, why can't we question polite? He said on Sarnetta TV that he hadn't left New Bobby. So therefore, why can't we ask him about this project and so on and so forth? That's where you pretty much have the birth of the title, Kim in on trial, which truly should have been polite on trial because that was somewhat we have a personal conversation with, we want to have a personal conversation with Polite. Now, that is the history, that's the chronology. The sit down, the initiation of the debate, I believe was still by Polite. Hashar said, let's do this. He said, me and my brothers, which at that time was Tazariak and uh, Nasi. So I never proved what I'm saying by Nasi saying he never wanted to debate again, but if he get in the ring, it's got to be the last one. That's where you have the title, the final showdown. So I believe the statements you made was incorrect due to those facts. And I would like to hear what you have to say about that if you know of those incidents. All righty. All right, good. Um, well, um, as I stated in the the initial conversation on Brother Kalam's page that um, the issue that I had with the nature of the debate, well there's many issues, but one of the major issues was the the title of the debate and where it's Kemet on trial. And and so you ask, you know, where is on by what standard or by what logic could you put Kemet on trial? And so this has been the question for several weeks and months now. 
um, as it regards this upcoming debate. And when I was listening to you know your commentary, there were a few um, errors that you made in in your analysis of my statements. Um, <clears throat> the the title of the talk that you had was uh, Asar Hotep, your ex Hebrew Israelite, and you better. I don't. I think you were supposed to put known better there, but that's how they'll find it on YouTube. Yeah. And um. So there's several different issues at play here, and you know, uh, you started off at 33 seconds of your your talk, um, you know, saying that you known better as a former Hebrew Israelite, that you, you felt that I was attacking the the Hebrews from uh, my statement, um, and then you played my statement. Um, I'll deal with this first, and then I'll just go in chronological order. Of, of the statements made. So um, I'm going to play you playing me saying my statements, if that makes sense. <laughs> you going to play my video? Yeah, of you playing talking me. About. Yeah. So this, we're, at, we're at one minute. Um, and they have start no scholars in their kitchen. So let's go back a little bit. So, come on. It's about the 40 seconds. It's doing this. Yeah, from it. Uh, Hopefully, yeah. And here. It's uh, trying to find itself. Still, uh, I told you I was having internet trouble uh, earlier. If you uh, if you give me the time frame, I could uh actually play it for you. Go to forty three seconds. Okay. Let me go to my channel and get the video. I get some more YouTube hits. But yeah, I'm going to get it right now. You say go to forty three seconds. Forty three seconds with that. All right, it's going to start at thirty six. If y'all haven't heard it or seen it, I'm going to do my best to try to play the audio from it. Hopefully, y'all can hear it. But let's see what this brother say. We do have a scholarship, it's a totally different thing. And so I, I got to remind people that. We're talking about individuals who are in the camps that are involved specifically in this particular debate, that they have no scholars in their camp. And what do I mean by they have no scholars? They have no one in the camp that has published works uh, that the world would cite to strengthen their own research art. There's no one there that has published, you know, any works along these lines. And so we got to understand there's a difference between the scholastic community and just some personal vendettas and beefs that they may have, you know. Okay, so you want me to stop there? Or? You can stop there. Okay. So, you go on to um, make this about all Hebrews. And I was very specific in my statement that I just said. And in, in the statement that I just said, I said that the, the individuals, the camps that are involved in that particular debate, there are no scholars among them. <laughs> you took this as, I'm attacking all Hebrew Israelites, and then I'm talking about all Hebrews in all Hebrew camps. I don't do that type of generalization. I was very specific, and you just heard it. Those camps that are involved in the uh, the debate that's going to be on February the 8th or 9th or whatever the date is, 
uh, in New York City. And so I'm trying to figure out, you know, what part of that statement was incorrect. Is there anyone in that camp or from that school of thought that are involved in that debate on the Hebrew side that has any scholarship published anywhere that anyone anywhere in the world is reviewing and utilizing their text to strengthen their arguments for some other research questions? I don't know specifically, and when you say publish, publish in what shape, form, or fashion? You could publish audio, video, as well as text, so what, what are you talking about now? We're talking about research, because the issue is it's supposed to be a scholarly debate. So if there, if there are scholars, then they would have text on the various subject matters. And so, you know, when this goes back to my issue with the title of the debate and what they have been saying subsequently since the uh, announcement of the debate, and that is that, you know, they're putting Kemet on trial. Now, you're arguing that it is not about the people, but it's about, you know, the quote-unquote scholarship. And so my commentary on Collins' page was that if it was about the scholarship, they would actually challenge our scholars who have produced works on these various questions. They wouldn't challenge Polite, who has no scholarship on uh, Kemet, or Shaka, who has no scholarship on Kemet. You can't pick those individuals and then argue that you're challenging the Kemetic community or the Pan-African community, and these individuals are not even representative of this community and have no published works and nobody recognizes them as such. And so when you're talking about uh, the so-called Kemetic community or the uh, Pan-African, african Center community, we're individuals that are involved in a discipline, a scientific analysis, a study of history, of sociology, and things of this nature. We have methods. Matter of fact, <laughs> hold on one second. You know, so now, you say, on. let me ask one quick question about something you said. Are you saying that Shaka Upmost and Polite don't have any published works or now, or are you just no, no, no? I know directing that towards this lights. Shaka just just released some things, and um, <laughs> um, he just released that Codex book. I haven't read it. Uh, I have no opinion on it. Um, and we know that um, Polite has some books out, but it's not it's not scholarly works on Kemet. And that's what I'm what I'm talking about. Before okay. this debate is uh, was announced, you know, none of them were repping. I mean, with, with the exception of Shaka, none of them were repping Kemet that hard. You get what I'm saying? And so Jonathan, and the reason there's a reason why I didn't include Jonathan because Jonathan wasn't a part of that initial. He was added on later into the debate. So if you notice in the videos, they don't call out Jonathan until Jonathan is officially on the flyer and stuff to this nature. So he's not, I don't include him, you know, in that. It's, 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 it's against these individuals. And so what I mean is like, you know, you know, we have text, you know, research methods in Africana studies. You know, here's one example from uh, Professor uh, Siri McDougal, McDougal III. You have, you have research methods, theory, things of that nature as it regards the discipline of Africana studies. You have works by like the uh, Kemet uh, Press on um, Seba, for instance, um, on research methods. You have stuff by um, Dr. John, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, uh, um, Professor uh, James, uh, the name slips me right now, but he wrote a book, uh, Afrocentricity in the Academy. You know, things of this nature, uh, where it's, it's, it's a discipline. We have, we have people in the ranks who have been publishing and, and doing scholarly works on various different questions, especially on Egypt, that are alive and well. And so if the, if the, the argument was against Kemet, you would be challenging those individuals. And so, you know, 
there's no one, I ask this question all the time, when, when it comes to the so-called uh, Hebrew Israelite doctrine coming out of, you know, um, One West, OC and ISUPK and, you know, any of the, the offshoots and things of this nature, there, there's no discipline there. There's no, there's no uh, journal article scholars in their camp. Who is, who is teaching on this. Like you would never find in a journal somebody demonstrating and proving the 12 tribes chart, for example. You know. Well, that's why I ask, that's, excuse me for one second, that's why I ask when you say publications. I mean, there's been plenty of published YouTube. You know, we, don't, we, don't, we don't count YouTube videos as a publication. That's a conversation that, that you have. And so we're not, you're not, we're not checking your, your sources. You have no bibliography you know, in it and things of this nature. Even if you had, you know, you can lightly consider a blog about it. It's, it's more so the nature of the scholarship. How is your You're talking literary. <laughs> literature. Yeah, because it's scholarship. You have to be able to examine uh, other works and to be able to critique other works and to be able to publish and re um, to regenerate so that people can, you know, read it. A YouTube video does not count as scholarship. You know, having a conversation on Facebook is not scholarship. And and I don't know what's up with this new generation who thinks that that is the case. That I can have a conversation on YouTube, and that I can have a conversation on Facebook, and this and this be considered a scholastic examination. You know, of a particular research question. So I would like to ask a question now. Would you say the debate is a scholarly debate if they're shooting it live on um, Towns on TV and they're just showing uh, information on a board? And how is that scholarly? Because the works would not be published. I don't think any of these people publish their PowerPoints after their after their debates or whatever because they do call themselves putting it on a PowerPoint or putting it on a you know, a literary platform. Um, now, to a, a lesser extent, one could call it a scholarly debate if they have actually done scholarship. See, here's the thing. When scholars debate, <laughs> both have written text. Like, let's say it's two, two scholars. Both have usually written text on a subject. And they have come now to the public to debate and in summary, you know, major points of both of their research. Now, everyone who was involved, they're not, they haven't written any research on this. They, they're preparing just for the debate, this discussion itself. But there's no publication afterwards, there's no publication beforewards. So we can get their full analysis because in a discussion, even in a discussion like this, we only have so much limited time that we can't get all of our thoughts and everything that we can to make our point valid um, out. And so this is why it doesn't count as scholarship. When you write the stuff out, there's no excuse then. There's, no, there's nothing that's preventing you from including certain data to make your point. When you go do a debate, you do a debate using summary. Of the of the analysis that you have done, you know, saying prior that you in, in terms of your scholastic work, and so this is 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 being called a scholarly debate, but it's really not a scholarly debate, you know, uh, because of the nature, you know, and the, and the disrespect, you know, of the panel members against each other. We know how you know Sonnet or does. <laughs> well, so, this is. This is this is why I spoke on the on the behalf of the Israelites to a degree. Uh, when I heard you make the statements and what why I made the title the way I made the title is because um, you being an ex Hebrew Israelite, most of the things they probably said is old school. It's nothing new. It's no new argument that you know Israelites are not Africans. So I believe you should have totally understood that. That part of the debate or the argument, and um, putting Kimmy on trial, I don't believe was a title that the Israelites came up with. Actually, they did. As a matter of fact, we can go there and play it now. <laughs> Let's do that. 
So, um, and, I, and I wanted to show first, actually, because um, the chronology is very important. Because uh, on the 28th, excuse me, on the um, the 4th of July, uh, 2014, that's when they had, not, that's not when they had, that's when Sonetta published the, um, that exchange that Reggie, Polite, um, and the other Hebrew Israelite brothers was having. And so at the end of the debate, you hear this conversation. So hold on. And you may have to, uh, if it's You feel me? We're not going to nobody here. You're not going to nobody here. I don't think no one's going to allow any one of us to get to that particular. So they're talking about the cookout on the 26th. So you know the 26th of July is when I they had the love cookout. Shocking to be on the team. I'm gonna tell you what, we all gonna put three together. And I think that is Mine is acting up. If you can pull up Send me the link to it in the in the in the chat and I'll pull it up. Okay. okay we'll is this part two of the Hebrew? Yeah, if if you if you already have it pulled up, go to start at a minute and three seconds. I mean excuse me, uh an hour and three minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much there. All right, here we go. Listen carefully. Hey, I, 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 like, I think was that debate between you and Tazoria. I murdered him, man. No offense. I ain't kill you. I murdered him. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hold on. The topic of this debate was is the God of the Bible a woman? Polite, listen. I'm sorry. Polite did not prove. He did not prove that the God of the Bible was a woman. He did not he quote the scriptures, and then he twisted to the black but it's God, but if that's what he wanted to teach, that would have been fine. I he did not prove the topic of the debate, which he did not do. Backstage, young people. Huh? I guess that's where it should have started, where, where it said backstage. Yeah. So that's the conversation. That's where it actually starts. I'm going to try to move it up, Sam. Now, say it again. You said you, because these are men. They ain't going to go back on these words. Now, you have a problem with me. I said, I'll your best. What three? What three? It, 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 it don't matter. It don't matter. So I believe that's, that's the... Uh, Point there, uh, Polite is calling Hashar up to it, and Hashar he said, um, uh, "Now y'all asked about a debate." No, um, he said the Sonetter asked about a debate, and those three is supposed to be Hashar, uh, what's his name, Tazariat, and and Nasi. and Nasi, and so they were supposed to come up. Uh, Polite was supposed to come up with a team. So at this date. As of at least July the 4th, they did not have a team together, polite. <clears throat> there is no, they're, they're sitting there debating. Nasi throws out, if you play it a little more, Nasi throws out a debate topic. Um, you know, are we the Hebrew Israelites? And things of this nature. They, they go back and forth. But the point of this, this part of the discussion is they're just coming up with the, with the, um, the notion of a debate. This is at the beginning of July. <laughs> now, oh, my bet. Now, <laughs> so remember, at this time, and, and you'll hear that um, Sonnetter is trying to ask, you know, uh, would he accept what's his name? Shaka Amos on his team. Remember, he has no team. And at, at, towards the end, he says he's going to carefully pick his team. So at the beginning here, there's no team on polite. There's no subject that is being um, that is being solidified as far as a debate topic. 
Correct. So now, so now, remember at the beginning of that of that clip, he says uh, the 26th we're having a cookout, and so that's the 26th of July. The link that I just gave you in the chat room is the link to that discussion. Okay, I'm gonna play it, but I I want to I want to play this one more time for the record a little bit. Here exactly this dialogue so it'll be on record. Ah, I went back too far. This coming. We're at a, a hour and five minutes in. Right. Now say it again. You said you, because these are men. They ain't going to go back on these words. You know what it is? Like, keep it on. You asked about me. I said, all right. Us three against your best. What three? What three? It, 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 it don't matter. It don't matter. This is some good shit. What, right. No, I'm saying, what three of you? You talking about? Oh, uh, sometimes. Because they already destroyed y'all, so, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. So, as as we hear, as you say, all right, now I'm going to hit this video. As you say, Sarnetta said y'all asked about a debate, right? We don't know who asked about the debate, right? Exactly. So, you, cause remember, you're, you're the one who argued in your, your discussion that it was Polite who came up with the topic and who who, who started the whole debate thing. So, I'm, I'm dispelling that as we speak. So, Go to that second that second video, and we're going to start at four minutes and twelve seconds. Okay. So if it wasn't polite, it was Sarnetta at this moment because they asked about a debate. They okay. asked the Israelites, and the Israelites, Hashar, confirmed that they will do a debate because they are men. As Sarnetta said, they will do a debate, and it will be Tazariak and Nasi. Always means a fight to the finish, and this year there is a third fight. <laughs> Everybody calls the white. What point you want to go to? Four minutes and twelve seconds. So, so we're Four gonna go for two. like two and a half minutes or something like that. <laughs> Four minutes and twelve seconds. Okay. Here we go. Uh, come February eighth. I had a great deal of respect for these brothers on the streets. I got a thousand respect for these brothers on the streets. But as far as the culture is concerned, I lost a great deal of respect for my brothers. Why? Because on the streets, all we've been hearing for years is the accusations about the Egyptians being homosexual. You can't walk past the Israelites and say anything about Egypt without them condemning. Oh, my bad. That's not it. That's not it. It's, it's the one, the AOC, they're at the picnic. Oh, go to the picnic, my bad. Yeah. It's the one. Forgive me, people. So I just I just put the link in again. Okay. And so again, go to four minutes, twelve seconds. Um, that's when that's yeah, Don, I'm pronouncing it correct. Don Yala. Don Yala. Don Yala. Uh, you put it in again, and I'm getting the wrong one again. That WB two SP three hundred. That's not the one. I'm, and that can't be. That I'm looking dead at it. I'm just grabbing it from. Okay, let's do it like this. Even if if so, you should be able to find it. As AOC Hashar vows to take down the Egyptian lovers February the eighth. Oh yeah, well you got the wrong time frame. No, it starts with what I want starts at four minutes and twelve seconds. Four minutes and twelve seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go back to just four minutes. And oh, I'm my, my bad. No, that is I'm, my bad. That's for something else. Um, my bad. Here we go. That's that's you're right. I, I had to give you the wrong one. Uh, here's the correct one. Okay, you want four minutes and twelve seconds on this one? But yeah. well, nah. Okay, this one start right at the at the point. It's thirty six minutes. So. That should be like the beginning of the discussion of, of what he's saying. So go ahead. Okay. So we're going to start it from the beginning. All right, people, here we go. Well, let me say this about Shaka Amos. Let me say this about Polite. And most of all, about all the debates that you've had. 
There's a pattern with all the debates that you've had. The pattern seems to be that everybody that wants to debate wants to put the Bible on trial. That's all I see, man. When Polite did his debate, his debate against Malik Zulu Shabazz was whether Malik Zulu Shabazz's doctrine was right. When Polite did his debate against Asara Sudan Seti, it was whether Seti's doctrine was right. He did his debate against Tazaria, it was whether Tazaria's doctrine was right. He did his debate against Imam Bashir, it was whether Imam Bashir's doctrine was right. He did his debate against everybody, it's always whether somebody else is right. What about his doctrine, man? God. He sat on your couch and said that when the Nuwabians asked him, have you ever left? Excuse me, when are you going to come back? He said, I never left. So he never left the doctrine of Nuwabiism. So why can't we ask him questions, man? Why can't we ask him about Project None? Why can't we ask him questions about the Nuwabian doctrine? Why is all his debates about what somebody else has believed and then everybody else is saying how brilliant you are? You know what a sign of brilliance is? When you stand for something, man. When somebody can come and ask you questions about what you believe not what somebody else believes but what you believe that's what we want to know polite what do you believe uh -oh. man where do you stand uh -oh. what is your doctrine do you believe in the wabiism uh -oh. do you do not believe in the wabiism uh -oh. are you comedic do you believe in non valley civilization uh -oh. do you not believe in non valley civilization uh -oh. where do you stand tell the people what you stand what you believe so that we can ask you questions about what you believe that's what we want to know and that goes for shaka and everybody else man we want to know what cats stand man right, right. that's good Should have it should have went naturally into the conversation from the four minutes and twelve seconds. Um, I have another timestamp here: six minutes and nine seconds is when 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 um, the statement. So it should have flowed. I don't know where you skipped to. Uh, no, nah, I just started at the beginning. Four minutes and my bad. It's bad, boy. When you can't. All right, here we go. I'm not a very long. You ain't gotta be long-winded, but. I don't know if you really know stepping in the ring, you ain't got to step in the ring but going up against a brother like Shaka Utmost who have go. dedicated his life go to like 5 minutes go to like 5 30 seconds thinking that so it flows into 6 minutes and then everybody else is saying how brilliant you are you know what a sign of brilliance is? when you stand for something man when somebody can come and ask you questions about what you believe, not what somebody else believes, but what you believe. That's what we want to know, Polite. What do you believe, man? Where do you stand? What is your doctrine? Do you believe in the Wabiism? Do you do not believe in the Wabiism? Are you comedic? Do you believe in non Valley civilization? Do you not believe in non Valley civilization? Where do you stand? Tell the people what you stand, what you believe, so that we can ask you questions about what you believe. That's what we want to know. And that goes to Shaka and everybody else, man. We want to know where cats stand, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So Kim is on trial. You want to do what you want. So Kim is on trial. So Brother Reggie is the one saying Kim is on trial, huh? So he's the one who, if you wanted to say, came up with an official title. But it's not, he's not the one who introduced that. If we listen to the whole conversation from uh, Daniela, all he's asking is about um, polite in his views, and he he seems um, upset or perturbed that every single time Shaka or polite are in a debate, it's against the Bible, and so as a result, he wants to know what their beliefs are and wants to put Kemet on trial because the Bible is always on trial. And so this comes out of the Hebrew Israelite camp, not polite, as you argued, you know, on um, uh, Thursday. And so it's an error on your part. And again, I wasn't basing my statements off of hearsay. I've, I've listened to these videos a number of times already. I know where the argument has come from. It is not coming from polite. Polite didn't come up with this topic. It came out of this discussion. 
is in the debate, excuse me, in the discussion that they had earlier that month in July, they had no topic. They had no, Polite didn't have a team. You know, they were just entertaining the idea. And so I mean, that's here, it gets more, here it gets more solidified as far as a possible topic. But the whole idea of Kim and on trial, Reggie says, it says, oh, so it's, you're putting Kim and on trial. And so all throughout this discussion from that particular point on, you know, that's all they're reiterating. And so when you see these subsequent, you know, videos from them, every single time that you would try to put some information about the Israelites, they'd be like, no, 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 we're not talking about the Israelites. It's about Kemet on trial. And so when my statements are about Kemet on trial, again, it's a, it's a, it's a misdirected, you know, energy, because if it was really about Kemet being on trial, you would try you know, um, some issues with Kemet and any of the doctrines or the, um, the the scholarship by people who are publishing on Kemet. You wouldn't challenge Polite or Shaka. Shaka had music videos before he released his book. He didn't have, you know, no scholarship out there. He had a music video. And so it's when <clears throat> notice that he doesn't name anybody else. Who does he name all throughout there numerous times? Polite and Shaka, exactly as I said. And so, so, <laughs> so the, the chronology we dealing with is the young <laughs> master sit down. Mm -hmm. This this is conspiracy. The the it was like this July. is conspiracy. This is conspiracy theory type stuff here. We're gonna check it out, right? So I never called the young man sit down. He has some Israelites and he has some comedic people in the sense of the word. As Danyala said, we don't know if Polite was riding with Dow Valley then or if he was riding with New Wabi is, right? Exactly. So they had to sit down. They had to sit down. They attacked the 12 tribe chart. Mm -hmm. Why did they attack, attack that chart? To start friction or start a debate. That's why it happened that way because it was supposed to be another type of conversation, right? And in that sit down, they had a conversation about me and Dr. Mayat debate, right? Now, even in that video, you hear Reggie saying, well, I got a buddy named Israel Doctrine, and he said salvation is for everyone, even including the Africans. That was my premise in my debate, right? Salvation and reconciliation. So the 12 tribe chart says Africans, even Hebrew Africans, uh, African Israelites cannot get salvation because they're not on the chart. So when they attacked this chart, that was the starting point of starting the debate. So now when we get backstage once again, we don't know who Sarnetta said, Y'all ask y'all asking for a debate, right? And so he said, Asha, come here. See they means they gonna stand behind their word. Then he say what he said. I can't remember exactly what was stated, but then he said, Well we'll take them on. So we'll take them on don't sound like yeah we won't to me. So after that, we get to the park here and we listening to this video. We see that Daniela was putting polite on trial, not Kemet, and he was dealing with New Wabi Yisum. Only time he mentioned Kemet the Nile Valley is he saying, we don't know if you stand on that. So Reggie, which is on polite team, and been talking to polite since the since that time, right? Mm -hmm. Say, okay, so Kemet on trial. He didn't say, so y'all want to put the polite on trial. He said, oh, so Kim is on trial. So I guess that's where the title comes from. I stand corrected. If I said polite brought it to the table, I say Reggie brought it to the table, but was it by way of polite or anything else? I don't know. I can't get into that. But I would say I was incorrect with that. I stand correct. Now, uh, again, as I mentioned, the reason why um, Reggie said that is because, again, he – it's not the first time he says it. He says it again, and then Brother Hashar comes in. You know, the, the people, you know, can view the whole thing for themselves. Well, I see the I see the premise as as, as yes, the Bible is always. Let me finish. And so again, it this did not start just with the sit down because remember, Nasi already had his debate by then. You know, I think you already had a debate at the beginning of July. Um, June the 5th. With, uh, June the 5th. Uh, it was the 25th of July? June the 5th. 
Yeah, June the fifth. So you already had a debate, and then um, Sarah Sudan Seti, and so the Hebrews have already been on the defensive, you know, prior to this. Yeah. So it didn't start with them, you know. Now I'm gonna I'm tell you something um, here, and and so I'm gonna have to share my screen. And luckily, there's no audio for me to to, to mess up. <laughs> but here's something else because. And I think it was um, four minutes of your discussion. You basically argued, you know, that if I had, you know, these issues and things of this nature, that I should have, you know, been in the debate. That the only person who'd been in the debate was uh, Dr. Maat. And that's incorrect. <laughs> and so I understand that, you know, you're. And, you know, you mentioned your age in the discussion. So you're 38, if I'm correct. In April. Okay, in April. So um, basically, you're you're two years older than me, and so you are my senior in age. But when it comes to this stage, I'm older than you. <laughs> you know, I've been doing this for a while. You know, one of my last debates, public debates, uh, with with it was with Christianity, not necessarily Hebrew Israelites. You know, it was in 2011 in February. I read the work. I seen the published work. You know, and so <laughs> to to act like you know I haven't been in this this in these debates. I debate scholarly. You know, I have two articles in my latest book. You know, challenging a, a particular premise of Dr. Wesley Muhammad. You know, that's that's how we do it. Now he's preparing a, a rebuttal in his upcoming publication. You know, for me, as I said, now. If after he publishes his, his publication and we decide to have a debate, we can do that because we both published our analysis, and now we can just come to the to the public and give the summary so the people can choose. That's how you do a debate. Now, <clears throat> you know, I don't know how long how long have you been a Hebrew Israelite? No, I never been a Hebrew Israelite. How long I uh, stated I was Israelite? Hold up, just let me be pacific. How long have I stated I was an Israelite? Since 96. 96, okay. Now, I have been since what, 14, 15? That's probably around the same time. Probably around the same time. 94, 95, that's probably around the same 96. time. 96, yeah. So, um, I, I've been, and I stopped being a Hebrew Israelite like around age 22. You know, but that doesn't mean the doctrine goes, you know, and my, my studies have not diminished since then. So it's been a very long time, you know, that that I have uh, been um, aware of, because, again, back then it was ICUPK, Israeli Church of Universal Practical Knowledge. Um, I don't know if their headquarters is still over Al Sharpton's building in Harlem, you know, but that's where we used to go, you know, all the time for... Um, you know, Passover and things of this nature. So I've been in this for a while. I've been debating this as a Hebrew Israelite and against, you know, since that time, you know, uh, from even that young of an age. And so, you know, uh, I have, you know, publications on certain things. You know, I'm, I'm revamping The Passion of the Christ um, to make it a hardcover um, book because, again, that was just in preparation for that debate at that time. So the, the people could have my material so they can follow up on their own, you know. And so the argument has been refined since then, and so I'm be coming out with a publication. But here's here's another thing, you know, um, that I want to want to share. And so I'm, I'm about to share. Let me ask you a quick question before you go there. When you say you stop being a Hebrew Israelite, is that in religious uh, connotation, or are you dealing with the fact that you believe that it was a bloodline, and now you no longer believe that the Israelites is a bloodline. Um, no, I don't believe Israelites was a bloodline, um, and 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 as far as the the whole identifying myself as a Hebrew Israelite and things of that nature, I dropped that you know a while ago. <laughs> so around twenty one, almost twenty two, at, at that age. So, so you believe there was a religious uh type statement more than a bloodline at that time? No, I, I, I don't believe, you know, I don't believe that the African Americans are the Hebrew Israelites. I don't believe that they were brought into, you know, um, fleeing into Africa 
and then you know the slave trade you know brought him over here and brought us over here in the United States as Hebrew Israelites um, and I definitely don't believe that the Mexicans uh, Puerto Ricans South Americans and other uh, folks are Hebrew Israelites um, and it's a whole bunch of you know that's another conversation of what I don't uh, believe yeah I, I, I just wanted to make sure because a lot of people say Hebrew Israelites and they don't equate it with a bloodline they equate it with a religious uh, people or just people that's religious that's following Abrahamic faith so I just wanted to uh, get clarity on when you say I stopped being a Hebrew Israelite because if you believe that it was a bloodline you know you can't say well I stopped being a part of that bloodline but now you say you don't believe that it's a, it was ever a bloodline so I got clarity I mean, it can, it can be a bloodline, but people think that bloodlines, you know, are equated with culture. And that's not the case. Like, we have an African-American bloodline now. But this bloodline did not exist 450 years ago. It came as a result of different African people coming together as a result of the transatlantic slave holocaust. Now we have, you know, a central language. We've kind of developed, you know, uh, cultural nuances and things that, you know, we all honor and respect, you know, and recognize as ourselves and things of this nature. We are a people, you know, even a disjointed people, but a people that we recognize at least when police brutality, you know, happens to one of us. We know, you know, who we belong to. And so, but this group of individuals did not exist 450 years ago. We can have a bloodline from this point on. But it's, it's, if we want to be specific, it's, it's different, quote-unquote, bloodlines. And this is exactly how the Hebrew Israelites um, came together in, in the reality, regardless of the myth. Uh, and even with the myth, it tells you, you know, in terms of the mixed multitude. But that's, again, I don't want to have that discussion. That's a totally yeah. different discussion as far as you know, the Hebrew we Israelite can, doctrine. But this, the is where, <clears throat> this is where I wanted to go. And so I'm going to share my screen. Yeah, because most people are are unaware of this, and so this is going to address your, uh, you know, why didn't you go out there on the on the world stage? And you know, again, I've been doing this for a while, and so you know. Uh, well, let I've me been, be specific now. Why don't you get on the side of the stage? But go ahead. The side of the stage is not is not conducive for the kind of scholarship, you know, that. Um, that one that I'm used to, and um, correct, and that's and why I said free. that's why I said it would be it would be a privilege for the community to, for you or someone else to create another stage where we can have the type of uh, debates that you're talking about, you know, and uh, a more wholesome debate. So when you um, when you when you're criticizing someone else's platform and you don't have a alternative for that, then you know that's kind of that's kind of bad too. That's why I was saying what I was saying about that. Okay, and so um, so now <laughs> I, I'm, we're keeping this chronology going because you know it's very important not only to the Hebrew debate but in, 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 according to your statements as far as allegedly, you know, what we did not do or, or what not. And so what a lot of people don't realize is that there was, that wasn't going to be the first team debate. The first team debate was going to be Amon Ross squad against Bashir and the Lions of, what did they call themselves? Allah. The Lions of Allah. That well, was going to be. Hold Let on. me correct you. Let me correct you. The first team debate was going to be my team against the Amin Ra squad a year ago. Unk set that up and then he reneged on that, but go ahead. Okay. Well, I, I was unaware of that one. But this one, I, I say, say first. Well, we know that there were several team debates. We can say this at least now. There were several team debates that were supposed to happen but didn't happen for whatever reason. So there was a debate. Uh, going to be a debate, and we were talking about this since what January, February, March, May, May, June of 2014. And so, we finally in June, what I'm showing here on the screen 
is uh, an email from um, that that I sent to Brother Bashir, you know, in this. <laughs> and so we were setting up the debate in the exact fashion in what we were talking about. It wouldn't be in the the dramatic, you know, sonnetta type fashion. But that type of debate was was coming. And it, again, it was going to be Amon Ra Squad, which was going to consist of myself, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Owens, who was on the current debate, Brother Unk, and uh, Son Jetty against Bashir and three other individuals. Um, I, I forgot their name at this point. But this was the topic that we were going to debate. And so here's here's my initial. I typed this up myself in terms of the, uh, the topic. So check the topic. <coughs> the topic is, after the dust settles and the smoke clears, what paradigm would better foster liberation, sovereignty, and harmonious human relations? traditional African spirituality or Islam. Again, after the dust settles and the smoke clears, what paradigm would better foster liberation, sovereignty, and harmonious human relations? Traditional African spirituality or Islam? And so, on the, um, on the, on the details and the commentary, I said, African Americans no matter what culture or spiritual paradigm they individually, it's supposed to be individually, adhere to, have a common enemy that seeks to stifle its advancement and its realization of happiness, and that is European hegemony and supremacy. If and when African Americans successfully become victorious in their struggle to defeat this adversary, and European supremacy is no longer a viable concept and threat, what then? Is there a paradigm and strategy that would help African Americans to better realize and maintain the goals of liberation, sovereignty, and harmonious human relations? If so, are these paradigms to be found in traditional African or Islamic worldviews? That was on June 10. You know, way before July, we already had everything settled and we were supposed to debate in August. I'm, I mean, I remember how it all went down and stuff. I was. I was around the conversation, and I, I heard the conversation. I even asked Unk if he wanted me to promote it with Black Intelligence, say, and Barshir. I was like, if Sadnetta don't want to do it, I'll put up the money, because at the time, you know, um, the House of Conscious of Atlanta was having problems of uh, making things happen. Yeah, so and I don't, I don't, you know, I wasn't all, you know, I came up with the topic. Uh, I made sure that the topic was that it was even-handed. It wouldn't have been like, you know, uh, Islam on trial or, you know, African spirituality on trial. It's both, you know, in terms of the, the promotion and to be able to articulate why, given the nature of the topic, you know, which one of the paradigms, you know, should the, the people adopt, you know, uh, once we, you know, win or become victorious in our fight against European uh, white supremacy. You know, and hedge your money. You know, saying across the earth. And so, so that debate, that debate did not happen. So therefore, as I stated, as I know, Doctor Mayak is the only one to be on that stage so far. As so, a Amin Ra Squad member, as a Amin Ra Squad member, that's what you, I was speaking about. But you said, you know, in terms of the debate and how we like it, that was already in the works. And so, if you even knew about this already, you can't argue, you know, that. Um, that this this type of effort, you know, wasn't brought forth, you know, and and even by then, I already had published in terms of a, a, a different debate, you know, with uh, Dr. Wesley Muhammad, even another paper, you know, on, on a statement he made about the Kaaba, you know, we've been the in the debate. Was y'all haven't done it? So, I mean, no, this is what you don't get. It's already been done. See how scholars do debate? We do debate. We write articles. We write papers. We've done that already. Now, in terms of the, on the on the on the Sonetta type stage, you know, there was one who already did it in the group, and that was Dr. Maat, you know. And then we was following up with it, and so the the, the idea that you know this wasn't in the works, or that um, that if if I you know felt so strongly about something, why didn't I do this? It was already being done. Now, this had nothing to, why it wasn't done. Again, it was the issues with the quote unquote um, Atlanta, you know, you know, business, whatever, in terms of because it was going to be held. So, at, 
Eminem's groups. So, so based on terminology, having done done it and it was in the works to be done is is two two different things. No, no, play your words. Go to where was it that you stated? Because the the words were very specific, and and so in the the way that you worded, it was already done. And so, just because because you didn't you didn't argue that um, in terms of just simply the, the the debate stage, I've already I've already had a public debate. It's been recorded in terms of. Hey, so I'm a Ross Squad member. <laughs> the Armor Ross Squad has been um, created since 2010. If I already had a debate in 2011 as an Armor Ross Squad member, it's already been I, done. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. I have no problem when you correct me. I have no problem. If you did it in 11 and you've been a member since 10, I just yeah, didn't know about I've it, so had, I was uninformed. I've had my own show on Blog Talk Radio since 2008. I ended my show in 2010, and the Armour Ross Squad um, came up then. What I'm telling you is you're making a lot of statements, and you have no knowledge of what's going on behind the scenes. You are new to me. I'm not new to this. And so when you make when you come and make a video and you put my name on it off a whole bunch of misinformation, is it looks bad on your part. No, no. We Once again, as I said, I said I'm in Raw Squad, right? If I mention the squad, and like you say, if it was two thousand and ten, then you started, then two thousand and eleven you had a debate. If anything, as you say, research, I have researched you. I told you I seen the uh, paper and stuff, so I didn't know exactly when you was an official um, and Rob member. Yeah, so again, you don't use okay. This is my point. Hold on, this is my point. If you really did not know, you have an open channel to me. You should have just asked. All of this. No, stuff I don't have an open channel to you, bro. You We're not friends. You haven't added. You haven't <laughs> added me on Facebook, and it I forgot what we. No, if you know my if you know my uh, Facebook page, you can still send me a message. We still cor uh, correspond on Kalam's page. You are a member of the Amira Squad um, um, page. Well, I've, been, I've been kicked out and blocked and blocked out of that group. So well, we miss it for. See, it, it just happens sometimes. We just be missing for. Uh, you know. So the, the the point is, I have a website. So you could have emailed me on my website. The point is. That you had an open, there's an open channel. You didn't have to go to uh, to make a YouTube video, put my name on it, based on some misinformation. And so every everything that you said, we've corrected here, and it's turned out to be false. And so what I'm saying is that you, if that's that's, it's an issue of um, of character here. If if you really have an issue, and and, and you didn't even invite me to the discussion, so you have. Hey, man, it was <laughs> you have a discussion about I didn't me. have an open channel to you once again. If I could have got you, <laughs> tell me I wanted to send it to you. I send everybody something when I go at them. You could have so, sent me an um, email. You could have said, you know. Uh, well, let's fix one problem. Let's fix one problem right quick. Okay. Go ahead and, go ahead and add me on Facebook. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You notice that I'm not friends with you, right? Right. We're friends, right? But somehow you got the message. To come on this show and have this discussion. Oh, so, I see you. I seen you post up under the bottom of my video. Exactly. And so, because I have an open channel of communication with you, and so as a result of having that open channel, you are here now. I didn't want to do a YouTube video and talk about you and not have you here. You know, so the me and you being friends or not friends on Facebook is no excuse. You know, yeah. for that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'll let you have it. But that's, I mean, that's just fundamentally, you know, uh, I mean, we could go on and on, you know, a whole bunch of different stuff. But that's that's fundamentally it. It's just, you know, that's that's what it is. It's, I, I wasn't, you know, being um, facetious or malice towards these brothers who were, were speaking. I'm just saying specifically, and, and we all know this, that they're well, my, not scholars. Like, one was asking a question about, you know, what do... You know, where are your uh, your your doctrine of morals and stuff to this nature? I'm like you, a basic researcher would have did some fundamental. We have whole books on mind, you know, written by scholars, PhDs. Dr. Milana Karanga's um, book was his PhD, his second PhD thesis. You know, any any Google search would have pulled this stuff up. 
So it's like these guys aren't even doing the basic minimum research. Yeah, you but know? this go back to the premise that they're going with that they saying you on trial because you those not you but those mm-hmm. people that's teaching that, which that is one of the points of the debate. Those that's teaching that Shaka Polite and Reggie is not a debater, yeah. but he's doing a uh, leg work for them, that they don't even know their own stuff and they don't know how to read metadata, they don't know how to do none of this. But so when one of them becomes a part of it, they find somebody that is a little bit more fluent in metadata and stuff. So my whole premise was, let me, let me tell you my premise. Let me tell you my premise. My premise was that you are a leading voice in the community. You talk to scholars, you talk to people like me, even though we don't talk that much, we hear the hangouts and stuff. But you're around people that, you know, revere what you say to a degree. And so when you say things like that, if you was misinformed, then the people would be misinformed by hearing it from you. And some of the things, as I said, that I really wanted to go at was the fact that the Israelites did not start this thing. It was never a beef between them and and um, Shaka and Polite until the debate actually kicked off. Then that's when the personal issues start flowing out even more. Even though videos had been made about Polite and Shaka, you know, they hadn't been made until it was announced that it was going to be a debate. And so the the relationship or the beef part of it was a harsh statement when you say beef. Beef is like being a part of this African-American culture called hip-hop, Biggie said it the best. Beef is when you can't walk the streets. It ain't safe to walk the streets. And this is what Reggie said when he was the tone the other day, that he seen this this type of atmosphere happening in Harlem. And he wanted to befriend Nasi and do this and bring a brotherhood. This is how me and him started talking, right? And we did a show about bringing a brotherhood between the comedic or the Nile Valley uh, people and the Israelites. And see, so behind the scenes, people have been working on this, but in the forefront and on YouTube and stuff, you have this type of thing going down and the cursing and, the, and, the, and all the craziness and stuff. So, you know, I just wanted to implore you to, when you speak on the things, you know, be informed. You, you were informed. You had the same videos that I had on Q2 Bring Up and stuff. So, like I said, well, if I was incorrect, I stand corrected, and I have no problem being corrected. Um, if if my stuff was good and it corrected you in any type of way, you know, instead of just, you know, seeing what I was saying and that it was incorrect, you know, seeing my, my reason behind what I did, then, you know, it's all good. We building. Yeah, that's why, you know, again, I, I come from a different school. And so, you know, the school that I come from, you know, it is, you know, we, we are evidence-based. You know, we, you know, I, I'm a, uh, I, I would like to think that I'm um, a, a, a scholar of, a, a scholar of high caliber, you know, on the, you know, trying to get to the Shekhan to Diop levels and things of this nature, the Obinga levels and, and, and whatnot. And so, you know, I pride myself of not making haphazard statements you know, that I, I word my stuff correctly or, or, or carefully so that, you know, it, it, I'm precise in in my statements. And so, you know, this is this is what separates me from, you know, a lot of what you see on the YouTube. You notice I don't I don't you know, I even even if I'm a member of Amon Ra Squad, you never see me going around repping Amon Ra Squad. I don't wear no T shirts. I don't, you know, do anything. I'm a, I'm a part of different organizations. I don't set trip and things of that nature. You know, I'm from the street, so you know that that stuff can be serious. You know, so I don't I don't do any um, of, of of that type of thing. You know, I represent myself, you know, as as a, a as an individual because in the final analysis, you know, anything that I say, it can't be it can't be. I have to be able to stand on my own. And so regardless if I'm a Hebrew Israelite, if I'm a so-called comedic, from I'm an Ifa tradition, you know, anything of that nature. If I'm out here presenting information, I should be able to stand on my own. And so, you know, I didn't want to have to go back and forth from Facebook and, 
and do all of that kind of stuff. I like to have the person, you know, if you're alive and well, you know, that we could have a conversation. Uh, we could have this conversation. And since this was done in the public, you know, with my name on the, in the title, you know, it was only fitting that we have this, you know, discussion, you know. Yeah. In the, in the, that know. always give people attention when you put their name out there. Because you know, if I see my name, then I'm coming, I'm asking questions. What are we talking about? But I'm, so, I'm just saying for the future, you know, it's, it's it's not wise if you don't know the people's positions and you haven't had a conversation with them directly, you know, not to not to do that. You know, you can have a you. It's different if you like you have a a, a a conversation about a subject and then you know a, a person's name comes up in the discussion and y'all are talking about what they do. But it's, it's a totally different thing when you put their name as the subject. Of well, I was I was looking to get your attention, and it seemed that I, I accomplished it. The thing is, if you would have just reached out, I would have come on your show. I don't. We would have had this discussion. You know, like, you know, I, it's the same thing with Kalam. You know, if he invites me to the show, I come on the show. You know, I don't try to look and be on everybody's panel, you know, just because they have one. Most of the times, I'm just if if I do catch it live, I'm just listening. To well, I I really didn't know, cause like before I I tried to add you on Facebook, I you know I guess you got a certain criteria to you know make one your friend on Facebook, you know. So I was like, I don't know how to take this uh situation. So on my channel, on my channel, you know, I, again, I only you know I I keep. The people who I choose to have, like, you know, real shows about, you know, these are people who are experts in their field, on their subject matter. No, know? I'm not talking about your channel. I'm talking about just Facebook and stuff where we could where we could communicate. Because if I try to send you a message now, it's going to go to your secondary box because we're not friends. And but we I, never... would still, I would still see it. And even and if I respond to it, it'll be in my inbox. In my, yeah. in my inbox. So, but again, you know, again, I have a website. I have several websites actually, but I have a website. Many websites. I told you I didn't check you out, man. Don't think, don't think that when I was talking, I ain't check you out. And it's if you would have had that debate public, I would have seen that debate. But obviously, it's not out there. If it is, please send me the link so I can watch it. There's a, the, the brother who I was debating. He has a, now. I haven't seen my portion. Whoever videotaped, they haven't put mine. My, oh, my, kind of like my debate, kind of, huh? yeah, kind of like yours. So you know, <laughs> uh, you know, my my portion of the debate isn't up, but his portion is up. You can you can um, hear his. You know, like I have a video up where I'm talking about the book, and I, it's just like a part one to it. Um, I meant to do a part two, but I never did it. But um, you know, but again, um, I'm, I'm re revamping the book and and you know correcting certain things. And advancing certain other arguments and stuff to that nature, so there will actually be a print because that first one was just an ebook. It's really just an article, but it was so long I just said it's an ebook because you know yeah. it was too long to be an article. But yeah, um, I see it. Like I said, I've been on your website and stuff. I check you out anytime. Um, throw people with you know like uh, Assault M Hope Tip. He'll take care of that. Jonathan, he could take care of that. Or do, he's uh, okay. Well, let me check things out because these uh tools he would use in in the situation. So I, I that's the old saying go, I, I try to learn my friends and my enemies. You know, um those that are potential foes or, or opponents. So you know I check you out. It's, it's all that's what you're supposed to do. But you know, again, it's you know, we we need the you know, one of the purposes for this discussion is, you know, really to kind of throw out that, you know, we need to have protocol. When we're, when we're dealing with each other. Well, so, my so. protocol is to talk to people. I got most, most, most everybody, no in the community, this, that, and the other. I'm friends with them on Facebook, and um, I communicate through Facebook and stuff. I even tried to communicate, if I'm not mistaken, one time on Google Hangout with you. I try to, I try to open up the lines of communication because when things do happen, we should be able to talk to each other. That's how we build a brotherhood by knowing each other, being able to talk to each other when it's not just a debate or we have a argument of friction just to say, peace, what up, man, how you doing? You know, or ask a question and you, you know, you deal with uh, language and things of that nature. I even downloaded a couple things of yours and, uh, you know, things of that nature. So 
I mean, as I asked you about Dr. Wade Noble, can I get on there? I would like to ask him some questions. I love the way when he uh, introduced himself and he asked the elders if he can speak and stuff. And I always used to make jokes with Reggie. I'm like, you see how he uh, do that? Now, if most of these brothers in the conscious community said, Elder, can I speak? Most of them was tell, no, nah, boy, sit your tail down. You don't have the right to speak in this community because, you know, your actions and stuff. So, you know, I respect what you do, man. I I, I noticed that you take a uh, effort in making your statements, uh, you know, the way you do to make sure that, you know, if somebody come back and say something, you know, hopefully you ain't take no offense to the video. If you did, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend nobody. But, uh... First, you know, we, we have we have to deal with the other brother, Shaka, not Shaka Amos. But the Shaka one from uh, Camden or something like that. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's he's another one of those individuals who like to just take stuff out of context and then make whole videos about it and think that he's doing scholarship. You know, he's worse. I mean, he's one of the worst that I've seen. You know, at it. Uh, and so he he swear he does scholarship, but the only thing you can reference is his YouTube video. So when you two go out of business, how's everybody going to reference his work? That's why you have books. You know, you get them in libraries, so people. Oh yeah. Years from now. Everybody trying to publish a book now. I might write me a book this year. I mean, that's what that's what we need. But you know, even when you're doing a book, you know, it, it, there's 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 procedures, there's protocol, as 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 I said, and, and that's why you have to have books on on methodology in your field. You know. If, if if it's a if it's a, a scholastic thing of study, you just can't just throw some things together and call it scholarship. You know, there's there's protocol. Do you have a literature review? You know, but I think I think the scholarship part and things uh, of the debate world, as well as uh, conversations that's being had on Facebook and other places, YouTube or whatever, is kind of a cop out because people want to argue and debate and put stuff on the table that pretty much can't be argued the debate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the title y'all came up with was a great title. That's the same thing I was going to do with Sankofa. It's the Bible, the best tool for our liberation. Because the thing that we should be talking about is how these systems that we involved in have liberated us and others as well as can liberate the rest of our community. If possible, if we believe that those things, because we take these things and we promote them to the community as the end all, the be all, you know. So, I mean, we should be able to sit down and say this is what my text or my information provides for our liberation. And I believe that's what black liberation theology was born out of in the 60s and the 70s and stuff. And if we looked at it like that, we wouldn't have to pit our information against each other We'll just put information on the table that could be helpful for all. You know, again, like I'm not going to be um, a part of a circus show. That's why, like, you know, we have rules and procedures, you know, for when we had our our, our debate. Um, and so, you know, it wasn't going to be promoted in that. Uh, my uh, colleague, you know, Brother Wujawu likes to say rap style battles. And so, you know, if, if it's going to be scholarship, you know, we, we need to con we need to conduct ourselves as scholars and as, as individuals of integrity. And so if we're representing a paradigm and we're representing the worldview, if we can't even converse like um, adult men, then, you know, we, we turn people off because obviously whatever our paradigm is, it isn't helping to shape our character in a very good way. Right. So, yes. you know, I'm, very, I'm very careful, you know, what I involve myself in and how I involve myself. You know, I support my brothers and you know whatever it is they do. I'll probably be in New York, you know, on the, on the eighth. You know, um, cheering my brothers on. But you know, it's it's you know if if if, if my name is going to be on the flyer and, and things of this nature, it has to be in in a, in a certain manner. And so, like, I take my name and what it's associated with seriously, you know, because I want I want you know people to take me seriously. And so, you know, the kinds of stuff that I do, I'm challenging you know, European white supremacy to Europeans. And I don't want to be, you know, lumped into that, you know, uh, school of thought where, you know, people thinking that aliens created the pyramids and our third eyes, you know, uh, protected us, 
you know, in Africa and all, you know, just some crazy, you know, stuff that cannot be scholastically, you know, um, uh, argued in a sense. And so that's why I, what you said in terms of, you know, the types of topics that are being debated, you know, that's one thing you learn in scholarship. You know, what what is scientifically, you know, able to be argued? And so on, on the first thing you know in science is that, you know, whatever it is that you're discussing, in order for it to be scientific, it has to be falsifiable. That means we, we have to be able to, to test it to falsify someone's premise. If it is unfalsifiable, it cannot be put into the realm of science. So, if, like, the debate topic, you know, with, uh, what's his name, Polite and uh, Tazariot on whether God is a woman or not, that's, that's unscientific argument. You can't put, you, we can't observe God to, as a primary source. I mean, I understand that if he was going to do it, you would have to ask according to the text or something. You know, it's, it's ways that you have to word it. You, if, if you're wording philology, literary, that's something different. But the way that they're arguing is, is if, you know, we have access to, you know, ob observing, you know. I agree 100%. That's, that was the biggest part of my debate, you know, as the God of the Bible or friend or enemy based up on what. And my whole argument argument and premise was we have to argue that based off of, off of biblical text. What do you... Where else do you get information about the God of Israel from, or the God of the Bible, unless you go into the text itself? You can't go to any other text and expect that to be the God of the Bible. Yeah, man. Again, we could do this all night, but uh, I'm finna get off because I actually got some research to do. Um, well, look, man. Let's fix that problem, man. Add me on Facebook, man. We, we, you know, we do not have any problems no more. Probation. My name is still on the you, on the you YouTube. I'll, 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 I'll send it later, though. But, you, uh, okay, yeah. I'm tired of going back, though. I won't, I won't have to put your name, you know. <laughs> it is, there's no problem. But I uh, appreciate you coming and um, talking with me, and um, you know we having this conversation. So, um, you know, you you had the last word. All right. Well, as I said, people, I don't mean to offend people. If I offend you, you let me know. If I ain't mean to offend you, I'll let you know I ain't mean to offend you. If I meant to offend you, you will know that I meant to offend you. So with that, I didn't mean to offend the brother. That's why I apologize if he took it as an offense. And with that said, I stand corrected on a couple of things. I said polite, came up with the title. I should say by way of Reggie. Well, Sinetta came up with the t title by way of Reggie. Uh, correcting Danielle and saying, oh, Kim is on trial when he heard him going there polite. So I stand corrected. He's been a part of the Amin Ra squad since 2010, and he had a debate in 2011. I haven't verified or checked that, but I take him at his word. So with that said, I don't think it was any more charges brought up on me uh, falsifying some, something. So with that, I stand corrected. I appreciate it, man. So I guess I'll see you in cyberspace. All right. Yeah, I'm going to end this. All right, man. Peace.